Hey guys, for some time we've wondered if our house was haunted and now we know that it is and here's the proof. We had something last night happen. This is a Christmas ornament. My wife Dearly and I were both present. We both witnessed. We both got majorly freaked out. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened and then I'll leave it up to you to decide whether I'm right or not. And I'm going to leave this here along with this ball. You see the woods right behind me? I'm sitting up against a tree line on the other side of which is an unmarked grave site that as of this recording is just over 100 years old. There are about half a dozen unmarked graves buried in thicket and bramble back here and it's believed they're children who passed during the Spanish flu epidemic of 1918. This is the site where I mentioned in a video just a few days ago, if you've been following our channel, I found a tennis ball. After the snow melted, there was a tennis ball there. I thought it was one that my son and I had lost in the field here playing before the snow came, but it turned out it's a different color than the ball we lost. Just yesterday, I was digging around back here in the brush and the brambles, seeing if I could get a glimpse of the, of the unmarked headstones. Now that most of the foliage is off because the trees are dormant, they're deciduous trees here, I found another ball back there. I left it. I didn't touch it. The vines and the briars and the brambles have grown over it. It was a ball about the size of this ball, but it looked had the design of a croquet ball, stripes, but it was kind of squishy. It looked like it was probably half a century old. I left it be because it wasn't mine. It belonged to somebody else. So, last night, I was out here doing a night hunt, seeing if I could find any sort of mysterious creatures, uh, maybe just to, to explain some of the unexplained events that's been going on around here lately. And I'm going to put that video I made at the very end of this one, it's called um, Bigfoot Sasquatch Night Hunt Inspired by Mystery uh, something. that You'll see it. It's, it's going to be the only video I put at the end of this one. I want you to go to that video. Don't watch the whole thing. It's like, I don't know, maybe 16 minutes long. Go to the 5 minutes and 45 seconds mark. 5.45. Because this is what happened last night. And this is how I'm now convinced that our house is haunted. Last night, after I uploaded that video to YouTube, my wife Dearly and I sat there and we watched that video together. Our son was in a different room doing something entirely different. He doesn't watch these videos. He doesn't care. So at that point in the video, just before this point, I'm up at our Ornaments of Inspiration tree, a tree that we decorated with uh, Christmas ornaments and Christmas crayons that we dedicated to many of our subscribers who had lost loved ones and so on and so forth. And one of the ornaments had, had well, it was on the ground. And so I say that, and this is true, that for the more than one month we've been doing this, this is the only time I'd ever seen an ornament, not on that tree, but on the ground below the tree. So I say right at the 545 mark, something pulled that ornament off the tree. <clears throat> now, as I say that in the video, and as my wife and I are sitting there watching this video, as soon as I say that at the 545 mark, something pulled that off of that tree. This Christmas ornament fell off of our Christmas tree in our living room. This was on the top of the Christmas tree, and it fell to the ground. And my wife and I looked at each other and the, the look of sheer terror on both of our faces was so funny we broke out into laughter. We started laughing. We laughed hysterically for about a minute because I was laughing at how terrified she looked and she was laughing at how terrified I looked. We finished laughing and I said to her, you know that was a ghost, right? And she said, yeah. And I said, are you scared? And she said, no. She said, I think it just wanted us to know it was here. And I said, I think you're right. And guys, we've had our suspicions about this for some time now. They were confirmed last night with this Christmas ornament. We're not exactly sure which entity it might have been that tried to get our attention. But just we're going to kind of, 
we're kind of thinking maybe is one of these little sweeties back here behind me in the woods. So as I leave here, this little ornament that they use to get my attention is staying with them. I get it back here on the brambles. This is just one big thick fat briar patch. But that that's theirs now. This no longer belongs to us, it belongs to them. As well as this ball. They gifted us a ball. That was their Merry Christmas present. We're giving them one right back. Happy belated Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's back there. So guys, thanks for being with us for this video. Go to the video that's right here appearing now on the end of this one and just go up to the 545 mark. That's where it all happened. We'll see you for more next time.